Welcome, welcome again to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. If this is your first time, this is a channel that tries to make sense of the crazy arrows on a real estate market. And from time to time, I give you little tidbits and tips. I'm tongue-tied about coming to Arizona. If you're thinking about coming out to visit or you're thinking about moving here, I'm going to tell you three things you should probably know before you come here. And two of them are weather-related. Who'd have thought, right? Look, we all know it's hot here. It gets blistering hot in the summertime. Just unbearable. I've been out here since 1996. I'm still not used to it. So you get off the plane here in June, you're going to want to turn around and get right back on the plane. But did you also know that we get very cold? That on several occasions, the city of Scottsdale has had snow? I remember a golf uh, tournament that we have out here. The, they used to call it the Phoenix Open. Now it's called the Waste Management Open. Canceled because of snow. They were delayed. Delayed because of frost. So we do get snow, and it does get cold here in January and February, but uh, it's kind of funny. I had a guy from Kansas City out here that was working with us for a while. He was flying back and forth uh, back on my old job, and we got really cold for about two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, I stuck my head in his office. I go, well, winter's over. <laughs> it gets cold. We have to cover our plants. We have a lot of frost warnings. We also get rain in January and February. So if you're planning on coming out here and spending a week golfing, make sure you're on top of our current weather patterns. Are we having a wet year? Are we having a dry year? Make sure that you're not surprised when you get out here because I feel bad for golfers that come out here. You see them at the airport taking their golf clubs off the luggage rack and it rains seven days straight. That's, that's a bummer vacation. So make sure you really stay on top of the weather when you come out January and February. March will get a little rain, not as much. April and May, things tend to warm up. May is absolutely beautiful. Now, in the summertime, we experience extreme heat, and parking is not valued by its distance to the door, but more on its relationship to the shade. Uh, you can go into a parking lot and see everybody's parked under that one tree, but you have to be careful because in the summer, we get these thunderstorms and these haboobs, which are giant dust storms. So in the summertime in the afternoon, you do not want to be parked under a tree or anywhere where, where a tree could fall on your car. Happens all the time. You drive around after a storm, you see trees snapped off everywhere. We get 60 to 80 mile an hour winds in these storms. They're brutal. It pulls up the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and the Sea of Cortez, collides with some cold air, the storms billow up, the winds come, and we get these wind shears that come straight down. They're kind of like a tornado. Uh, even a few weeks ago, we had a tornado touchdown in Williams, Arizona, which is east, is west of Flagstaff. And uh, so our weather can get pretty brutal up here in the summer. The monsoon season starts about the middle of, of July and goes all the way through October. Sometimes the monsoon season is just really weak. Hardly anything happens. Sometimes there's one to two storms a week, and it's quite entertaining and it can be quite brutal at times too, so you have to be careful. Along with those dust storms, you have to be careful and watch your health because we have a thing called valley fever. And some of the microbes that come up in the dust get it and start affecting people's lungs, they can get very, very sick and you've got to stay on top of it. The other thing to remember is we don't have daylight savings time. We stay on standard time, we don't change our clocks. It's just not something we do and we're kind of proud of that. So I hope you come out and visit us in Arizona. And if you're thinking about moving here, hit me up at rick at rickhelps.com. See if I can help you. Take care.